On April 23, 2022, officers from the Milwaukee Police Department in Wisconsin responded to a slew of 911 calls. One caller, Kashawn Rowley, shared that he was at his girlfriend Leah Davis's apartment and she was shot. Are you, are you hearing any gunshots? Over here, over here. Over here? Hey, come here. Lamers! Stand over there. 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 Don't move. I'm not moving, bro. I promise to God on my soul. I'm not moving. Officers follow Kashan to Leah's apartment, where they find an unresponsive Leah on the floor, blood coming from her head. A third officer arrives, and they apprehend Kashan to remove him from the room so they can fully attend to Leah. I swear to God, I'm so I just thought her granny and everything. I never, I never. All right. Just take him out. Take him outside. She's got, a, she's got a gunshot wound to the head. But listen, look, listen, she told me to go. I was, listen. So I came over here, right? I'm literally, she, listen, she only let me stand right here. Mind you, okay? Listen, did you listen to me? Yeah, I'm listening to me. Listen, she only let me stand right here. Look, I'm finna show you. Uh -huh. She only let me stand right here, bro. Listen, she was like, oh, I'm finna. She, I said, I said, I asked her, can I come over? She said, you can come over for a little bit. I said, okay. She asked, yeah, but uh, but when I got over here, she was like, no, you can't come in or something like that because she wanted to get ready to go to sleep. Okay. I'm like, okay, you want to get ready to go to sleep, so I'm finna go. I literally came down here to my car. I literally came over here to my car. I got in my car. Okay, listen, I, listen. Radio. Huh? <laughs> Radio. Seventy-two fifty. We got a gunshot wound to the head. A black female. Not breathing. Ten medical. Gunshot wound to the center of the forehead. No pulse on her. No. Or CPR, I guess. Yeah, I am. Starting CPR. Listen, I swear to God, on everything. You're good, buddy. Huh? You're good, buddy. Okay, look. I swear to God, on everything I love. Look. I came to my car. The moment I opened my car door, I heard eight shots come from her apartment. I literally, bro. I'm thinking somebody shooting. I was say shooting else somewhere. So I pull up the street. I'm like, damn, what the. But I turn around because I'm like, dog, bro, that's my girl, bro. I really love this girl to death. Right. So I'm like, okay, so I turn around, bro. Listen, I'm being on the fucking door to try to get the fuck back in the apartment because I don't have the key or nothing, bro. I need a cage car for him. <laughs> I literally just started CPR and shot to the head. We're not conscious, not breathing. Yeah, there's gray matter. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. So listen, she tell me the moment I get by her car, I, I listen, the moment I get by, I get by my car, right? Mm -hmm. Listen, I hear eight shots, bro. I run upstairs, bro, because I'm, I listen, but her door's unlocked because she just closed the door behind me, bro. I made sure she was okay because I told her, I'm, uh, when I was here, I said, okay, I'm going to call you later and like that because I know you got work tonight. She work at Walmart on uh, East Capitol. Okay. Okay? So listen, when I got to my car, I swear to God, I heard eight shots. I go up there, bro, I look. All I do is open the door, bro. She's laying on the fucking ground, bro. We'll sort it out, buddy. Do we know how long ago this happened? We just got here, and this guy uh, is the one that called. Uh, I have no idea, to be honest. Do we have any idea to inform her? No, I have none. I, we just got up here. So, right, I mean, you guys came here quicker than me, you know. Hey, there is a bullet next to her on the left side, so be careful where it is. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to get in your way here, man. Yeah, there, there is. Yeah. But right now, she's obviously shot. You're the, first, the only person in the apartment, so you're just detained right now, okay? You guys don't know you're right? No. Like I said, you're not arrested, but you're just detained until we figure out what's going on. All right. I don't know, bro. She didn't let me in the house. She didn't let me in the house. What happened? Listen, listen, listen. We're taking a second here to point out the irony behind his shirt in this situation. I'm going to tell you the same thing that I told him. Listen, so me and I, listen, she had, she just had got home about like 45 minutes ago, hour ago. She, I called her. She, I said, can I come see you? She had said, at first she had said no. I said, okay. She had said, I said, can I come see you? She said, yeah, you can come see me, but only for a little bit because I have to go to work tonight because I work, she work at Walmart East Capitol. I normally take her to work between 9.30 and 9.40. I said, okay, when I got over there, when I got over here, she only let me stand in the door. She didn't allow, let me go in the house or nothing like that, bro. Nothing. Like, that's my girlfriend. I've been over there multiple times. So but she didn't let me go over there. I, so she I said, okay, you have to leave because I'm finna get ready to go to sleep. I said, okay. I literally walked down the stairs. I came out the door. She closed the door behind me. I told her. I said, okay, I'm gonna call you later and make sure that you're good and that you're okay because I know you got work. And I told her to call me if you need a ride to work. Okay, this is what I do on the daily. So, I said, okay. I got literally got to my car door. I literally go to open my car door and I hear eight shots coming out of her apartment. Not her apartment, but the fucking house complex. You know what I'm saying? So then I literally, I'm getting scared. Like I'm, all I'm Which hearing is shots. Huh? Which car is yours? Right, flat charger right there. Right here? Mm-hmm. It's parked the wrong way? Yeah, it's parked the wrong way. Okay. Lamers.
Yep. Oh, there you are. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to find an ID. I'm trying to look for the gun. Sorry. Sorry, no, no, you're good, you're good. I'm just trying to make sure there's no gun in here. 7250, they're calling it DOE. What, uh, what happened after that? What'd you do? Because, listen, I got up in the car, bro. I pulled up, I'm like, what the f they shooting? But, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I don't want to get shot. See, you know what I'm saying? I'm an innocent bystander. Okay. Or whatever. I don't want him to come outside or whatever the f catch may be and shoot me. Okay. So I'm like, okay, babe. So, I literally, I, but I turn around and like that. I literally turn around. I get all, I pull the f back up, bro. I'm banging on the fucking door to get back up in there because I don't have the keys to her apartment. I cannot get you in that complex. What? what? I'm trying to sort out what's going on right yeah. now, man. We'll come talk to you in a you second. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I swear to God on everything I love. So you went back in? Yeah? No, I, listen, I went back in after the shots. Right I went back in after the shots because I got, I knocked on the fucking well, door and the neighbor well, opened the door for me. Okay. Okay. And you went back upstairs? And I went back upstairs. Was your door open? Yeah, the door was already unlocked. Okay. I think I yelled at I'm telling you. The door is already unlocked. I'm literally, bro. I'm, I'm literally trying to check. I'm like, I'm like, what's wrong? I'm like, what's wrong? All I see is blood on the floor. I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, no, it's in my car. Okay. What's your name? Keyshawn. K-E-S-H-A-W-N. Yeah, Rousey. Does that look like a bullet hole in the wall right in front of you? Right there? Uh, yeah, that's what that is. It looks like you got some brain matter over here. Yeah, it came in through here. I some brain matters on her lap. Look. Is that one right there? Or not? That's probably Looks like she might have been shot twice. Unless she held up her arm in front of her. Ah, uh, here's the exit wound. Okay. Brain matter. Five wounds total, one, two. One in the other arm. And then the two in the head. And look at, there's stuff all over here. All up here. Did you look through the window? Yeah, it's brain matter right on the window. Bro, I'm trying to figure out, the first thing I do is I call her, I call her friend. I'm like, bro, you don't know, I said, I don't know what the fuck just happened. She said, what? I said, bro, I don't know what just happened, bro. I just heard eight shots come from our apartment. She said, wait, 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 wait. She said, wait, 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 what's going on, bro? I said, bro, I just heard eight shots come out of her apartment, bro. She said, wait, wait, wait. I call her granny, bro. I told her granny, I heard eight shots come out of her apartment. She her granny, her granny, like, what you mean, her eight shots come out of her apartment? I said, bro, I'm literally in the house right now. What's your last name? Rousey, R O W S E Y. Just a question I'm going to ask you. Any warrants or anything I've worried about? No, we're done. Not a probation for all. No, we're done. Okay, all right. Slide in real quick. The window here gets you cool. Thomas, you said, or Davis? I mean? Davis, What's D A B I S. Your middle? I don't, I don't know her middle name. Okay, she lives here. Yes. All right, slide. slide I used to stay. Well, can, wait, can you pack it though? Can you keep yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get the keys so I can get the air conditioning. Okay, I'm not gonna do nothing, bro. Can you just? I'm, I'm cooperating. Can you just leave it open so I can yeah. literally just see here? Is this squad number on this? Listen, I swear to God, Jasmine, Jasmine, on everything I love, bro. Listen, she said I could come over for a little bit. I came over here for literally five. She didn't let me in the door, bro. She didn't let me in the door. I literally did. When she told me to leave, I left. I literally got by my car door and I heard some shots coming from our apartment, bro. Keep trying to relax. When I get the key, I'll turn the air conditioning stuff to do the job, right? Listen, I just want to breathe, bro. Yeah, no, I'll leave the door. I just want to breathe, bro. I got you. Then our granny keep asking me, did you do it? No, I didn't do that shit. I love that girl. And they found five total bullet holes. There's... There's gray matter on her pants, on the window, on the window seal. There is a bullet fragment on her left, on her right side over here. And then there's, uh, there's look like a strike mark in the corner. You can see it from here so far. And then once they move out of the way, I'll be able to keep looking. Seven. Seven, seven holes. Seven? seven. Yep, seven holes. Chest, one right arm, two in the head, two in the back. Her, uh, her phone's ringing. Is that anything you? Uh, yeah, just leave it. Hey, uh, is that car a plate register you in? Yeah, that's, that's my car. Hey, you see anybody coming out of that place? That bro, I didn't know, bro. I left. I pulled off. Okay, listen. I pulled off, bro. I pulled off. Okay. I got scared because there was shots. I pulled off. I came back. So when you came out, when you came out of here, you didn't see anybody go in? No, I didn't. But listen, she was already at home when I got here. I know, but you said you left because she didn't want to. Yeah, but she didn't let me in the door. I don't know if somebody was in there or not. Okay, all right. She didn't let me in the house, sir. What did you know? Keep trying to shut up. How did she end up? What are you talking about? You called me and said that shut up. No, I did. I said I heard eight shots. I said I heard eight shots come out of her apartment. I heard eight shots from in there. I heard bang, 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 bang. Keep shot, keep shot. Come on, cooperate with me. I am cooperating, bro. I know you're answering the breathe. But the whole neighborhood ain't got no business. Yes, I know the whole neighborhood ain't got no my business, bro. But I'm just saying, bro. I'm trying to tell you because everybody trying to look at me like I did. That's no, oh, I told you, look, I told you straight up, you're not arrested, you're detained right now, okay, right? Okay, and I understand that. We get called here, someone's shot, right? Yes, and I called you all. Hold on, hold on. Breathe, buddy. 
You keep yelling over me because I'm on your side. All right. I told you straight up, you're not arrested. You're detained. I just obviously got to figure out what's going on. Okay. You're in the apartment. She's shot. I'm sorting out everything. You're not arrested. Your story checks out. Just let everything happen, uh, happen for a second. All right. Detectives are gonna come. Everybody's gonna talk to you. Things will be cool. All right. I'm, I'm, okay, bro. Just I'm be smooth with me. Bro. Okay. I don't think she was shot here. Any casings or anything here? There's a bullet fragment over next to her. I saw that. Yeah. And there's a there's a strike there's a strike to the wall. You see it right here. Oh yeah. Right there, and then it hits there. But there's brain matter on the window over here, right over here, and it's in her lap, and she was up in the corner. So I'm curious. I don't think this happened here. I think you don't think it happened here? Oh, there's not. Oh, she got shot five times. Five times. She got shot five times. There's seven total holes. Yeah. Yeah. He said uh, he heard eight gunshots. <laughs> yeah. There's no one else in here. This was unlocked. Hey, bro, I'm, I'm, not, on, I'm, not, bro, I'm not, bro. Can I just I'm breathe? I'm breathing. No, bro. but you're trying to talk to them. No, I'm not, bro. Yeah. I'm, I'm, bro I'm just letting you know. Bro. I got alibis, bro. Right when I just with I you, bro. I've been with you all day, bro. I just dropped you off over your empty thigh and I mean over there by the court, bro, so you can play with tricks on him. I just was with you, Keep bro. Trying. This will be your last one. I'm gonna have to close the door, buddy. Okay. Anything on the home? There's no case. There's nothing else in there. He had three callers, and he's one of them. Not, not, not one casing on here. His quick story was, he had come over here. This officer relays his knowledge of the situation to who appears to be an investigative officer. Simultaneously, Kashan again recounts his story to an officer, but added small additional bits of information. Bro, what's up? Now I'm talking to you. Listen. Listen, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to know? Y'all asking me how I got in the apartment and everything. When I first got here, mm -hmm. her neighbor was opening the door. Mm -hmm. I came in the door. Mm -hmm. I knocked on her door. She opened it. She would not let me in, sir. She told you to come over, though, right? Yeah, she said I can okay. come over while we was on the phone. Me and her literally had a conversation. We literally was on the phone. Mm -hmm. That's your girlfriend? That was my ex girlfriend, but we getting back together. Okay. Yeah, we was getting back together. How long were you guys? Together on off. We well, listen. We've been together for a year and a half. We just we just broke up like three weeks ago. But me and her been talking about getting back together and stuff like that. And she said we getting back together. She just needed time to you know what I'm saying get through her feelings and stuff like that. Right. I'm like okay. You know what I'm saying. I'm literally sitting here being. You know what I'm saying. I'm literally sitting here being okay with all that because I understand. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got feelings, bro. Kashan recounts his story from here, reiterating that he was at the apartment. Then as he was getting into his car to leave, he heard eight gunshots, sped off in fear, but then returned, allegedly concerned about Leah's safety. He shares in greater detail the moment of his return to her apartment. I knocked on her door again. I'm like, Leah, 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 Leah. I check the door to see if it's unlocked. The door's unlocked. I open the door. All I see in her is on the floor dead. I literally drop down to my knees, bro. Mm -hmm. The first person I call is her motherfucking friend. I call her right there. Mm -hmm. I call her friend. I tell her. I'm like, bro, I just heard eight shots come out her apartment complex. I'm crying like a motherfucker, bro. Bro, she's like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. She just left me and shit like that, bro. I said, fam, I just heard eight shots come out her apartment complex. So then she asked, said, hold on, I'm gonna call you back. I called her granny. Her granny said, what the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? I'm telling her granny, bro, like, I, bro, I just heard eight shots come out your granddaddy complex, your granddaughter complex, and shit like that. I'm literally doing all that shit, right? All I know is, bro, all I know is, bro, I literally, bro, I swear to God on my soul, I'm like, bro, who the fuck is this? And she asked me, did I do it? I said, I did not do it. I said, I didn't do it. I said, I don't know, bro. I said, she didn't let me in the house. Did you see somebody run out? I didn't, I was, go, I sped down the street. Car, I sped way. down the street, bro. I didn't see nobody run in and out. When you heard the shots fired out here, you didn't see anybody run out the apartment? No, I didn't. I drove off. Do you think someone was in there? Bro, I don't know. She didn't let me through the door. Okay. All right, man. He was in the apartment when we got here. He was in the apartment. Yeah. This I can't. Listen, I had the door. I had the door. Put, I had the yeah. door. Look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to. Play. I know you gave me the story, black but thing, but I got the black thing held open so I can get back into the uh, house because I don't have a key to get back in. I hear you, buddy. Just take a seat. You guys got the keys for 541? Yeah, that's so my guys, car. Yeah. The guy, the probably the possible suspect, is sitting in the back of it. It's not running. And he's yelling, he's hot, so I want to get the AC on there so I can shut the door on him. In this moment, a bystander speaks to an officer about getting information for Leah's grandmother, who is apparently on scene. Okay, well, I can't really say anything because I don't know anything other than there's somebody that's shot. Can't release any information right now. If, that, if that's her grandma, is her mom around? It's Leah. Her mom passed away. It's her mom. 
Okay, I'll have her sit there. I'll come talk to her in a minute, okay? The bystander implies that Leah's mother is deceased, and social media post made by Leah herself supports this claim. Leah's grandmother has now not just lost her daughter in recent years, but now her granddaughter, too. Do we have an officer available? Uh, the grandmother is down on the east end of Lisbon, probably be the next of him. This guy's in call? Yeah. That's possibly him right there. That's yeah. Oh, that's him, but that's possibly suspect. That's he's talking very fast, like he's nervous. Extremely fast. That's, uh, the story doesn't make a lot of sense. It's kind of a clue. Is there a gun up there? There's no gun, there's no casings. And get this guy, this fucking guy right here. So he's on the wrong side of the tape. Yeah, the same side for now. Okay. Okay. Did you see hear anything? You're right next door. I'll tell you what, I'll let a detective know to come over and talk to you in private. While an on-camera interview does not happen with this individual, officers do question the downstairs neighbor about the incident. Well, I was saying we heard a loud bam bam. I didn't think it was a gunshot. But I just thought he was banging on the door some more. Like, I thought he kicked it out instead of hitting oh, it, but then he loud? ran off. Yeah. Could you make out what he was saying? He was like saying, let me in. She was saying, go or leave or something. Okay. Just like that. I just moved in like three months ago. Okay. And they argued all the time. Ten minutes later, he come, the carpool was back up. But he had someone with him, a female. I hear a female voice. And they're both like, she dead. So I'm like, oh, no, nah, he killed her. The female that this witness mentions is never explained, nor are we aware of any charges pressed against a second individual for this case. Rumors shared on social media detail that Kashan may have cheated on Leah, and that action prompted the breakup, but those claims are unsubstantiated. Considering this witness was primarily listening through her doorway, it is possible she was hearing Kashan's panicked voice as he uses falsetto and reaches a considerably higher pitch. And then he knocked on my door. And I was like, all I saw was a black charger. And he said, that's my car. He was like, I came and she wouldn't let me in. She told me to leave. I left. He was like, so he, he said, so I thought somebody in here did it. I said, no, you didn't think nobody in here did it. So that's why I called the police. Okay. Because I feel, I see he's trying to flip it. I just closed my door. Did you, had you called the police prior to him knocking on your door? Yeah. Okay, you're Yeah, but I'm just saying. Okay. In the video we obtained, Kashan never implies that a neighbor might be responsible, nor did he mention talking to the downstairs neighbor after supposedly discovering Leah's body. Damn, I think. That's what I'm saying. You see that? The heck had Bro, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Bro, I'm right. I didn't do that shit, my nigga. Okay, nobody's... Nice. Okay. Y'all finna have me send in the cell and shit, bro? No. Don't worry about it, okay? I know. They're gonna talk to you about what, what, okay, you, saw, bro. what you saw, okay? Okay, bro. Okay. According to news reports, investigators found more details surrounding the 911 calls. The first call revealed further suspicion of Kashan's actions. Allegedly, before Kashan called 911, he called a friend and shared that Leah had been shot at her apartment. Kashan told officers this information on scene. However, his friend revealed Kashan left out the bit of information where he allegedly admitted to shooting Leah, which is what prompted the friend to make the first 911 call. Investigators interviewed others who were close to Kashan and Leah and found that Kashan was apparently very possessive of her. The pair held a very rocky relationship, as alluded by Kashan himself on scene. Other close friends shared that Kashan had threatened to kill Leah last fall, and he allegedly purchased a gun in order to do so. News reports indicated Leah had eight gunshot wounds in total, matching Kashan's story that he heard eight gunshots. Sadly, investigations also discovered that Kashan and Leah knew of each other since third grade. After his arrest, Kashan was charged with first-degree murder, with modifiers for using a dangerous weapon and for domestic abuse. This is the only criminal charge we could find in Kashan's records. Roughly two weeks later, he entered a plea of not guilty. The court set a $250,000 cash bond that Kashan never posted. In February of 2023, almost eight months after Leah's killing, a jury unanimously found Kashan guilty at trial. In March, he was sentenced to life in prison, confining him for at least 35 years after Leah's death until April of 2057, when he will be 55 years old. 
Violations during his prison sentence can extend his total stay by up to 40 days for each infraction. He may petition for extended supervised release after his prison sentence is complete. What's going on, guys? Today we have a sad, tragic case out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 19-year-old woman loses her life at the hands of her ex-boyfriend. Most cops can see that this guy is guilty. As soon as they see this guy, he says he called the police, okay? He probably did. What does he do? He raises his hands and says, oh, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. That's a big sign right there. The second thing he did is he said eight shots were heard. Let me tell you something. I've been shot at before. One thing I'm not doing is I'm not counting the shots. I'm trying to live. The third thing he did is he tries to muster up some fake tears to see if anybody's buying this. You know, those tears were so fake. But that's another story, okay? He tries to sit there and talk, 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 and the cop is just going to let him talk because what do these criminals do? They incriminate themselves, you know, because they're not too smart. So the cop did the right thing by taking him to the squad car, let him keep talking. And what does he say? First, in the beginning, he says it's his girlfriend. Then he says it's his ex-girlfriend. And we know now it was his ex-girlfriend. I believe he came over there, in my opinion, uninvited, right? And then the conversation probably went left. He didn't like where it was going. So what does he do? He takes out a gun and ends this young lady's life because you can't take no for an answer. OK. And what this guy get? He got life. Right. And after 35 years, he can petition. He's eligible to petition for extended supervision. So possibly could be on the street one day. It's ridiculous, man. You know, these domestics, man, can end so bad, so bad. So you have to pay attention to these red flags because a lot of times you see them, but you ignore them. You can't do that. All right. So tragic. My condolences go out to the family. A 2021 study by the Bureau of Justice Statistics shares that of the nearly 5,000 female victims of murder and non-negligent manslaughter that year, 34% were killed by an intimate partner. By comparison, of the nearly 18,000 male murder victims, only 6% were killed by a domestic partner, making women five times more likely to be killed by their partner, while men are more likely to be killed by a stranger or non-family acquaintance. Using this data, of the nearly 23 3,000 murders that year. Roughly 2,768 or 12% of all murders and non-negligent manslaughter were committed by an intimate partner of the victim. If you or someone you know in the Milwaukee area is a victim of domestic abuse, resources for help are available at the Sojourner Family Peace Center. For everywhere else in the United States, you can reach out to the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE.